OK, here we are in video two of introduction to logarithms. And we now are going to go into the concept hard and heavy of the fact that exponential and logarithmic functions are inverses of each other. And as such, we can convert exponential equations to logarithmic equations and logarithmic equations to exponential equations. So here we go. Here's the secret right here. Here is a basic exponential function. Y equals A, where A is some number, raised to the X power. What makes an exponential function an exponential function is that X is up in the exponent. And we know this is one to one. OK, now to find the inverse, we switch the X and the Y so that you have X equals A to the Y and then you solve for Y. But for hundreds of years, mathematicians had no idea how to solve for y. How would you solve for y? Well, it took John Napier in Scotland looking for something else to find the inverse function of the exponent functions. He was looking for a way that mathematicians could add in order to find the product, that is, the answer to a multiplication problem. Whoever heard of that? To be able to add in order to find a product. You add in order to find a sum, you multiply in order to find a product. Well, John Napier did it, and in our next video, you're going to see how it happens. But in the process of finding that, he also found that the logarithm function was the inverse function to the exponent function. Exponential function. There's a difference. OK, so here we go. X equals A to the Y transforms to log base A of X equals Y. That's right. The Y is the exponent here, right there, and it becomes the exponent here, only it's the actual logarithm. The A, which is the base of the exponent Y, takes up residence here by the bottom of the G in log. And the X becomes the argument of the logarithm function. So this is red log base A of X equals Y. Important to remember, this is the, log, the uh, exponent. A logarithm is an exponent. That is so hard to understand. So you, you just have to take my word for it until you do understand it. Now let's go. Where? Here. To the first homework problem. 1024 raised to the one fifth power equals four. And that's true. What we're doing is we're going to convert this to the matching logarithmic equation. This is an exponential equation we're going to transform it to a log equation. And here's how we do it. 
first we have to identify the base. Well, the base is always at the bottom of the exponent. 1024 is the base. So 1024. That's a gigantic zero. Let me do that over again. 1024 is the base. The exponent is one fifth. The log argument is the number left behind, which is four. Now we're going to write this as a logarithm equation. Log base A of the argument equals the exponent. In fact, instead of A, I'm going to write base. So base. That's the setup for a logarithm equation. Let's do it. Log base 1024 of 4 equals 1 fifth. Yes, you're thinking to yourself, wow, that really looks strange. And it does until you get used to it. OK, let's come down here. And do this again. Log. Base. Argument. Equals. Exponent. OK. Here we've got the exponent. It's always easy to see the exponent in an exponential equation. It's right there. Four is the exponent. The thing holding the, the exponent up is the base. In this case, the number holding the exponent up is the base, 10. And this number is going to be the argument of the logarithm equation or function. 10 and four zeros. Okay, so now I can see the 10,000 is going to go here. The 10 is going to go here, and the exponent is going to go here. So we'll have log base 10 of 10,000 equals four. And that ought to be your argument, uh, <laughs> argument. That ought to be your answer. But it's not. Because. 10. Well, we live in a base 10 system. And you'd be writing 10 all the time. So eventually it was decided to not bother to write the 10. That's right. The way you write this when the base is 10 is as follows. Log understood base 10 of 10,000 
equals four. And that is the logarithm equation. You have to know that the base is 10. Okay, now we're in for another surprise, but let's go one step at a time. Log, whoop. Log, with the base down here, the argument up here, and the exponent over here. And then we'll analyze our exponential equation over here. Remember, you can always back up a video. Okay, here's your exponent for sure. E, the number, it's almost 2.7, it's about 2.7, is holding up the five, so it's the base. And the log argument is T, which often acts just like X. So your answer should be, yes, you're in for another surprise. Log base E of T equals five. And that should be the answer, except for the fact that E is so common in the sciences, scientists would always be writing E. And, and economists. But the problem is we can't take the E away, can we? Or someone would think that it's base 10. So it was Briggs who came up with the answer to this problem. Briggs was the assistant to John Napier, the person who invented, developed, discovered the logarithm. He said, hey, Let's call this the natural logarithm. And it's stuck. So log base E became the LN, the natural logarithm. LN means log base E. Now, all we have to write down is the argument. and the exponent. Ta-da! The ln of t equals five. And what that means is log base e of t equals five. So there are two things you need to remember. When you don't see a base, the base is an invisible 10. When you see the letters LN, that's log base E. Okay, piece of cake. Let's go here. This is a nice, very basic, exponential equation. You've got a base, you've got an exponent, and then you have the number on the other side of the equal sign, which over here means it's going to be the argument 
of the logarithm equation. But first things first. Here's your exponent. Here's your base. So whatever's left over becomes the argument of the log function. So we'll be using log base argument equals exponent. So we're going to have log base Q of three equals the exponent M. It's just a matter of putting everything in the right place, which of course means you have to memorize those places. Okay, now let's convert some logarithmic equations to exponential equations. We start out with a logarithmic equation, log base three of 81 equals four. Okay, well the three is the base. The 81 is the argument. And this other number, when you've got a log equation, this number is the exponent. So the base is three, the exponent is four, and the argument is 81. Now here's how we change that to an exponential function. We're going to have the base raised to the exponent, and that's going to equal the argument, meaning the argument of the logarithm function. Maybe we should call it the log arg. Let's do that. Log arg. Pretend it's Pirate's Day. Okay. Your base is three, your exponent is four, and your log arg is 81. And that's true, by the way, three to the fourth power is 81. Now we're gonna do the same thing again. Over here, the number that's down by the G is the base. This number, which I was always taught back in the old days in the cave school, is the argument. Mr. Stewart, my very mean algebra teacher, used to take off points on tests if you didn't put parentheses around your argument. I always put parentheses around my argument, even today. Exponent. All right, now I can write two by the base. I can write four by the exponent. I can write 16 
by the argument. So over here, our exponential equation is set up as base raised to an exponent equals a number, which we know is the log argument. So the base is two, the exponent is four, and the log argument is 16. And that's true, two to the fourth power is 16. Now, here we have the log of 0 0.001 equals negative three. Where's the base? What's the base? You don't see a base, so the base is 10. The log argument is 0 0.001. And the exponent is negative Three, because in a logarithm equation, this is always the exponent. So now we come over here and we're going to write the base raised to the exponent equals the log argument. So the base raised to the exponent is 0 0.001. And if you put that in your calculator, you'll find out it's true. So there you go. We survived not seeing the base. All right, here again. I mean, this should be beginning to get easy. This is the base. This is the argument. Two is the exponent. So we come over here, base, raised to exponent equals log argument. So the base raised to the exponent equals the log argument. And you know this is true. Five squared is 25. And then finally, we have log base A of capital R equals negative Z. What? Yep. Mm -hmm. A is the base. Negative Z is the exponent. And the number left over, what are you going to do with it? That's the log argument R. And so we're going to have the base raised to the exponent equals the log argument. You want to get to where you can just write it like that. But until you can, you want to write base, exponent, argument, log argument. Okay, notice there weren't any LNs. My math lab is kind of short on LNs. So I want to make one up just so you'll get a chance to see it. The LN
of three. I can't do that, can I? No, I can't. I can't just make something up that's not true. Well, I could. But no, that that everybody and their uncle would be yelling at me. So no, we're just going to say the ln of x equals three like that. Oh goodness, what are we going to do? Well, ln is log base e, so this is log base e. E is just a number of x equals three. But now I see that the base is e, the exponent is three, and the argument is x. So the matching exponential function would be e to the three equals x. And we've converted exponential equations to logarithmic equations and logarithmic equations to exponential equations. Now think about that and then watch the next video after you've done the homework for this. Because in the next video, we're going to start doing some really wild stuff. And you are going to need to memorize and you are going to need flashcards. So you should, if you haven't done it yet, go to Walmart or wherever, Target, and get some flashcards. Or go to your neighborhood pharmacy, get some flashcards. They're not expensive no matter where you buy them. Okay, talk to you later, bye-bye.